Hi, my name is JP McMahon from Manure Restaurant and I'm here in the Town Hall Theatre in Galway for the flow gas demonstration. The dish we're going to do is a dish with monkfish and some wild mushrooms. So we have some lovely wild mushrooms. These are uh, chanterelles from, from County Clare. And then we have a big monkfish from the, from the Atlantic. So what we're going to do first is we're going to season our fish. Uh, it's really, really important to season your fish with salt. Um, not only does it help the flavour of the fish, but it also dries out the fish a little bit and it will help you cook it better. And again, even though fish is from the sea and it's surrounded by water, when it goes into the frying pan, it's really, really important that your fish is dry. And a lot of times when the mistakes that people make is they put uh, a wet fish fillet into the frying pan and that water causes the fish to, uh, to stick to the frying pan. Now it's really important that you don't move the fish for the first minute because you want the crust to develop. I'm gonna put a few herbs in just for flavor. A little bit of sage, rosemary or thyme. The butter. At this point, you're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna baste the fish. So when I'm cooking fish, I usually just cook it on one side to brown it and the other side I baste in butter and then I transfer it into the oven. So it might seem like we have a lot of butter. This butter is mostly for basting, so it's not in the dish itself. So our monkfish will take three to five minutes. I like to use a digital thermometer and the temperature you're looking for is somewhere between 55 and 60 degrees Celsius. I mean, really after 60 degrees, the fish is becoming quite well done. So we're gonna add our mushrooms into the same pan. Your mushrooms, uh, mushrooms will absorb and a little bit of salt will help bring out the flavor. Add in a little bit of our butter. Just looking for the mushrooms to soften before we put the brandy in. and really what you're doing is looking for the flavor of the brandy, not the alcohol. So once your brandy is nearly evaporated, as you can see there, there's a little bit of brandy left. We're gonna add in our cream. And take your fish spatula and just give the pan a nice scrape so you can get those um, crusty fish bits into your sauce and that's really gonna help the flavor of your sauce. So I've taken my fish out. I'm going to turn off my sauce. I'm going to let the sauce relax. I'm going to let the fish relax uh, for about two to three minutes. I don't want to just pop it straight into the, into the sauce. And we want to give the monkfish a little bit of a dry, just for a few seconds, just to make sure that we don't have too much residual fat. And then we're going to finish it off with some chives. And lastly, we're going to finish it with a little bit of finishing salt. So this salt is from Ackle Island. Um, it's a lovely soft salt, but you can also use Malden um, or any other finishing salt. Mm -hmm.